All right, so today's vlog is gonna be a little bit shorter than most, or the ones that I plan to do. I'm a bit under the weather with the seasons changing, and turns out going from warm weather to cold to warm to cold again has destroyed my sinuses. So this, this vlog will be a bit shorter than the last one. So what I'm doing right now is I am picking up a package that arrived, and I'm kind of excited for it. I've been waiting it for I've been waiting for this for some time now, uh, and I'll show you in a sec what it is. So before I get started on what the package is that I just got, uh, I just brought my Harley back home here to my new residence and I was going to shift things around and put it in this corner but I just realized this thing is so freaking massive, so long, it's not going to fit right there with my shelves in place. So for now it's going to remain here. My other bike I'm going to put here. <sighs> Geez, well, for now, this big behemoth is gonna reside right in this corner. So, I guess this will be the area that I have to work with. Oh, by the way, if anybody's interested, this bike is for sale. Thirty-one thousand one hundred and forty-four miles currently, but I do ride it. Back to the sob stuff. Just got a package in the mail, and because it's a nightmare to open one-handed, I already have it opened here. But what did I get? I got some extended lug nuts. These are actually 40 millimeter, and well, why did I do that? Well, solid question. I got some spacers. It took a little bit of time to get because I did get it from, I believe, Sweden, and these are hub-centric wheel spacers. They're 10 millimeter in thickness, and because the Saab has a lug stud, you also need to get longer lug studs. So the original equipment would have been 29.5 millimeter and these are 40 millimeter in length. Now my other ones, I did paint black not too long ago because they're all rusted, pitted, they look like crap. Well, I knew that was just a temporary job that's not going to last. So I ended up getting these. Now the reason I'm getting or I'm going to be installing 10 millimeter spacers is because of this. So it's probably hard to see, but the wheels are kind of tucked in too much for my liking. I got rid of my 60th anniversary wheels and I put on some 18s. These are from a Cobalt SS Turbo. I don't know the offset offhand. I want to say like 44. I don't know. Could be wrong. But regardless, the 10 millimeter spacer is going to poke out just a little bit. Well, not poke out, but kind of kind of get more flush, I guess. So. Now we're going to install them. This is the original, and then this is obviously the new length and one, 40 millimeters versus 29.5.
important to note, one, it's a lot easier with an impact gun. Two, it's also important that because this is hub centric and it rests on that center hub, it's very important to crisscross and tighten in a star pattern. Here's why I say this, because the wheel is torqued down, uh, actually just on the lowest torque settings on the torque gun, but it's still loose because this is not seated all the way. So that's why it's very important to torque in a star pattern. Can you continually do it multiple times until it's fully seated and you will know when it's fully seated because this obviously won't happen. All right, so these are now all torqued down. For the most part, I use the impact gun, but towards the end, I do use the breaker bar. You kind of get a bit more control. And this thing also pushes out, I think, like 300 foot pounds. So that's pretty ridiculous for this. So shaking, shaking, shaking. And that is fully tight. Double check, look in here, fully seated, yep. Now I can lower it down, tighten one more time to verify, and you're good. All right, all done, here's the camber. Looks dope. Oh yeah, look at that. Just kidding, no stance. It's all good. Now the difference is probably minute, minute but uh, I don't know. To me it makes a big difference. So now you can See that 10 millimeter spacer in here? Got the better black lugs on there now. So here's the other front wheel done. I think it looks perfect. I'll get a better angle once I get it out of the garage. I think that gap is much, much better. It's crazy how much 10 millimeters makes a difference. So I recommend driving it for a little bit and then making sure the wheels are retorqued and you're good to go. All right, because I'm under the weather, I'm gonna end this vlog right here, right now. Uh, if you're wondering about price, the four wheel spacers along with the lug nuts, all 20 lug nuts, cost me less than a hundred bucks, which is pretty cool. Not that hard to install, as you have seen, just a little bit time consuming for me. It was a little bit easier because I do have a impact gun. Anyways, for the next vlog, I plan to install some Saab wheel center caps. I currently have Chevy wheels on there, so I have the Bowtie center caps. I don't want that. Those are going to be replaced along with a hood emblem. Currently, I have a cheap eBay one. So there's probably some other things I'll throw on there. But for now, right here, right now, I'm going to end this vlog. I appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content.